Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button and smash that subscribe button with post notifications. We do post every single day, and I also have a supporter creator code. So if you guys do want to support me in the Fortnite item shop, my supporter creator code is Vipernate RPS. You guys can spell it anyway. And also, if you want to be in one of my role plays, all you have to do is send me photo proof or video proof on my Instagram or Twitter. They're both going to be linked in the description. My Instagram is underscore XO Nate. My Twitter is I'm Vipernate. And I also have a ton more of uh, social medias like my Discord. Uh, my second channel that I post Roblox content on, I also stream on Twitch. I have a whole bunch of other social medias and platforms that you guys can follow if you guys would like. They're all going to be linked in the description. Uh, my Twitter and Instagram as well is going to be linked in the description. But yeah, I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Love you guys so much and peace. The kid went missing the next day. Boom. What you guys think about that story? Dude, I thought we were supposed to be saying scary stories. That was not scary at all, man. Bro, what you mean, bro? That was a scary story, bro. You, bro, you tripping right now, bro. You, you don't, you got no scary stories. Tell me one right now. Hey, look at this one. This one's actually nonfiction, okay? This one actually happened in real life, unlike your dumb story. All right, so look it. Once upon a time, there was a kid named Drift, and he basically used to always spend time with his father. And his father was actually a scientist, and he used to do a whole bunch of potion experiments and a whole bunch of other things. And the next thing that happened is very shocking. Pew, 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 die, 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 die. Oh no, he's gonna kill us. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you, the big bad monster. Hey, Drift, I need you inside right now for an experiment. Wait, what's that? I don't wanna do that stupid crap. I wanna play with my toys. Look. Hey, you don't talk to your father like that, Drift, okay? I'm your father. You can play with your toys after the experiment. It won't even take long. No, oh, darn, but dad, will it take that long? I just told you it won't take long. I just need you to drink something for me real quickly and you'll be out here in no time. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it. Alright, anyways, you already know the rules. Don't touch anything in the lab room, okay? Because if you touch anything, I will take away your toys. Alright, um, sounds good, huh? Okay, anyways, just let me pull out the book real quickly. Alright, come in. Wow. Don't touch anything, Jerk. I know you. You're my son. I don't know you like touching stuff. So anyways, I just need you to stand right here. Let me do my final touches, and then I'll give it to you, okay? Okay. okay let me just grab uh, this. Wow. This is a little bit of that oh. right there. There, okay. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of warm redness. Oh, Put that that's right pretty there. cool. Hey, Jeff, what I say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyways, I got the experiment done, okay? Uh, okay, what is it? Well, it's just a little blue potion, okay? But I am going to say one thing for me, okay? You might feel a little bit sick after this, okay? This experiment might give you some, like a little bit of powers type things. Wait, sick? W will I be able to play with my toys after this? No, you'll be able to play with your toys. It's just you might feel a little bit of fever and coughing and maybe a runny nose. Anyways, here's a drink. Phew. Okay. All right. Let's chug up. Okay. Ah. Oh. oh, that actually felt pretty great. You feel fine? You know, no uh, sickness, no nothing? Well, it might take yeah. a while, but you feel fine right now? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I feel kind of dizzy, but like, you know, I, I'm feeling better than... Oh, Jeff, you okay? Yeah, no, I, uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff. And that's the end of the story, dude. He basically turned his own son into a monster. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm gonna be honest with you. That's legit the worst story I've heard in my whole life, bro. Huh? What do you mean? Mine was literally nonfiction. That means it happened in real life. Yours was literally BS, man. It didn't even make sense. Oh, you can legit say anything is nonfiction, bro, and you just want us to get scared, bro. That's cat, bro. They ain't no way that a scientist for real made his son into a, a monster. Dude, Headlock was literally on the news. They had multiple news reports on him. He used to kill literally every little kid going trick-or-treating. What do you mean it's fake? Oh, so basically if it was on the news, that means it's real, huh? It could have been a guy dressed up in a costume, you know that? Maybe the guy, I don't know, died. When did this story happen again? It happened like in 19 something, and no, it wasn't just a guy in a costume, dude. It really happened, and that guy was killing people. You know, it happened in 19 something. You really know, like, the ending. It could have happened in 1976, 1956. The guy could be dead by now, for crying out loud. No, he's still alive, dude. He's probably like in his 70s right now. That's why he's not killing a lot of people, because he's getting old. Okay, then how do you know he's alive, then? How do you know? Show me physical proof that he's still alive right now. Look it, all right? I know where he stays. I don't know if he's alive, I think he's alive, but maybe we can go check it out. He lives deep in the woods, in a cabin. Wait, how do you know he lives deep, deep in the woods, in a cabin, bro? Like, legit, he could live in any woods in the whole world. Well, the last whereabouts that he was at was in our city. 
And the only place that I think he would be at is maybe in the woods near those cabins. I mean, we've been there before, dude, and there's sleeping bags and a whole bunch of other things. I mean, the only person that can be sleeping in the woods is him. Mm, you're right about that, but, you know, there's also, you know, campers. Maybe people are camping in the woods. How about we just go check it out for ourselves, man? You guys in or not? I'm down. I'm in. I want to see if you are capping, because I'm telling you right now, you're capping, bro. There ain't no way this happened in real life. Dude, so you want to put money on it or something? I mean, I'm telling you the truth, man. How about yours? How about how about your story? Was it real or not? Bro, I legit said in the beginning, this was not a real story. It was legit a story that I heard on Google. So you just made up that story. You basically stole it from Google, and you're trying to come for my story. Oh, bro, because your story is also you stole it for somebody else. No, I didn't, dude. It's literally on the news. How about we search it up? Hey, come here. Watch this. Look it. Okay, let's search it up then. All right, let me see here. Search All right, it. so look it. Headlock right here. Uh, look it. Last time they seen him was in 1997. Oh, that was for real like 20 or 30 years from now. Okay, and that doesn't mean he's dead. That could possibly mean he's dead. If he lives in the woods, what is he going to eat out there? Is he going to go hunt for animals? Wait, so you're agreeing with me that the story's real? I'm not saying it's real. I'll just say if he was real, then I don't know. There's no possible way that he could eat all the animals in the forest right now. But right here on the internet, it says that he's real. So how are you not agreeing with me? It's the internet, bro. How you feel about a list of something on the internet? Look at Bigfoot, bro. Do you really believe in Bigfoot? All right, you know what? All right, let's get out of here. Come on, let's get out of here. Right, on, Before go. we go, go, we're going to go in the garage and grab a few flashlights and stuff like that to be ready. All right, let's go. I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm still mad about Sparks leaving, bro. Like, ain't no way he got scared about one story that's not even real. Dude, why do you keep saying it's not real? It is real. And why do you keep talking about Sparks? It doesn't matter. If he doesn't want to come with us, then it's only me and you, and that's it, man. Let's just be quiet and find this guy. So number one, the story is not real, and number two, you know, it could have been the three of us, but no, he got two chairs. Shh, shh, wait, look at dude, the chair. Yeah, what about it? It's just a chair. That means he probably stays over here. He probably chills right here. So just because there's a chair right next to a pond, you know, it, there could be an old man somewhere here who comes over here and fishes for food. It cannot just be a monster. Bingo, and he's old. Okay, the guy could be dead for crying out loud, okay? It could be a random old man, bro. It's a pond for crying out loud, bro. People always come here to fish. Dude, just be quiet. Come on, let's go. All right. Oh, I'm Maybe telling you the truth, way. bro. Like, this is your capital, bro. It's not real. It is real. Just be quiet, man. Oh, my God. Mm. That's what Wait. they always say, but it's not. What? I smell okay? something. Smell something, bro. What are you, like a dog? Wait, wait, wait. This way. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's right here. Told you. Oh, it's just an abandoned cabinet, so it doesn't mean he lives in there. No, it doesn't mean he lives in there. Dude, I told you it was a cabin in the middle of nowhere, and it's a cabin in the middle of nowhere, and he probably lives in there, dude. We got it. I just told you, it's just a cabinet in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't mean anybody lives there. Shh, be quiet. Come on. Oh, what do you mean, bro? We Nobody gotta, gonna get a little bit close, idiot. Come on. Oh, nobody's got to live here, bro. Look, it even looks abandoned. Do Look not enter. These. That means enter. Come on. Oh, what? If it means do not enter, bro, this is probably government property. Ew. Bro, there's, there's stuff like inside. Going in there. There's stuff so, inside. Even the person who lived in here left it inside. Shh, be quiet. So, ain't... I don't know, dude. It seems to be locked. I don't think we can go in. Yeah, like I told you, bro, there's nothing in here. Move, bro. I'm going to show you that this thing is locked. Okay, look. You see? I can't open the doorknob. It's an opening. No. Well, obviously, people are going to lock their own houses. This is his house, man. He's real, I'm telling you. Oh, there's nothing in there, bro. There's for real a sign saying do not... Wait. Is that you? That wasn't me. Who was that? That was you. Stop playing games. I was talking when that happened, bro. Stop. Bro, why are you blaming this on me now? Oh. That's got to be you. You're lying no, to me, bro. No, that, that's not me. Dude. Dude. What is that? Dude, is that? that's Headlock. I told you that's him, I'm man. I wasn't lying. Him, run, run.